Hi everybody, my name is Stuart McClellan. I'm the Assistant Manager at West Tech Irrigation Systems. Today, we're going to assemble the drip kit. This is new for us and we're really excited about it. So, how do you get into the drip kit? Well, first of all, you need a knife, but I didn't bring. I'm gonna use a thumbnail, how about that? Inside our drip kit, we've got a laminated instruction sheet, how to install, it's got the basics. It's got a list of all the products that we're going to put in and make sure everything's there. We've got some half inch tubing. We've got a timer. We're going to automate this system. A very important tool right here. This is a cutter. It's a combination cutter and punch. We'll use that shortly. We've got another kind of tubing. This is a quarter inch tubing. Uh, some fittings. More fittings, batteries for the timer. We've got a pressure reducer, very important. And we have a filter, even more important. So this system, with this system, we're gonna water these, these three pots using drippers, just like so. So let's start, let's find our water source first of all. Our water source is going to be on this side of the house. So fairly close to where we're going to be doing our watering. We're going to set up right here. Everything is set up for hose thread. So we've broken out our kit. We've got uh, all the bits and bobs that we're going to need for our little drip setup here. So this is our half inch tubing again. These are the fittings that go with the half inch tubing. And this is our quarter inch tubing. These are the fittings that go with our quarter inch tubing. And these are the drippers. This is where the water is going to come out. That's a one gallon per hour dripper. And we'll set that up in a minute. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take the timer. There's a compartment here where the batteries are going to go in. So don't lose that compartment. It's always a good idea too in the winter when you're done your watering for the season, it's a good idea to take down your timer, put it somewhere warm, drain it out, take the batteries out for the winter so that you can put it together for the next year. For now, spring is here. We're going to say goodbye to winter. In go the batteries. So right in the back of the compartment, we're going to slide right in. Let's make sure I get this right. There we go. Just like so. And then we're ready to go. We can program that, program that in a minute. Uh, the next step will be to take the filter. This is a, fil uh, a little filter. And this is important with the drip line to keep any bits that are in the water line out of the system. And we're just going to go hand tight on that one. Just good and snug. Take the tape off the end here. It's gonna go in my pocket. Oh, guess what? That's the filter part of the filter. So there's a little screen in there that keeps all the junk out of the line. We're gonna put that back in, just like so. And then right after that, this is a pressure reducer. So we need a pressure reducer to run drip, especially if it's just in small amounts. So this is the direction of our water flow. And sure enough, it hooks right onto our hose thread. We're going to go just hand tight, just snug, like so. So that's ready to go. And then we'll put that at our water source. Our and our filter and our reducer hooked up. And there's instructions in the packaging for the timer to get it set up. I recommend for drip line and drippers, usually daily for a short time. With containers, I'd probably experiment with uh, anywhere from two to five minutes a day, something like that. Always check within the first couple of weeks just to make sure you've got enough water or not too much water, uh, especially in the heat of the summer in a backyard like this, it could get pretty hot. You may want to, you may want to up that time, but it's important with drippers to water every day for a short time rather than try to hammer it twice a week. So there we are, we're hooked up. Now we're going to measure out the pipe we do. So I'm going to introduce you to our smart lock fittings. So the way these work, there's a little barb on the end of this fitting, and that's what our line is going to push onto. The way we're gonna do that is this wing that I spun off, I'm gonna spin it on all the way. This is gonna hook up to the hose, that's the little blue section there, the hose fittings that we just put on. What I'm gonna do is push this on. I'm gonna stop right at about where that score line is on the fitting. So I'm just gonna give that a push. This is closed, I'm gonna push that on, over top of the barb, give it a bit of a twist feels like it's all the way on. 
Then what I'm going to do is take this fitting and twist it back on itself. And that's what locks it on there. And that's called smart lock. Just like that. So now our hose connection is connected onto our distribution tube. And now I'm going to measure out how to get from there to there. So I'm connecting this onto my reducer right at the end of the line. Line that up. And I try to go with the natural curvature of the tubing so it doesn't get all twisted up. And now this is, again, it's just going on hand tight. Just like so. Okay, and now I've got my roll. my drip stuff because I like to have my tubing just in behind. So if this was on your deck, you tuck this tubing away just in behind and notice how I'm just going with the, the natural curve of the tubing. See how it's flipping up like that? That's totally normal. You might even do something like this. You might even just tack it down with a rock or something like that just to keep it from flipping up. All right, so this is where my drip zone is going to stop right about there. So now I'm going to take my cutter and I'm going to find one of my end caps with, look at that, the same smart lock end on it. Please be careful, this is really sharp. This is my cutter. I'll come to the end of the line and I'm just going to rock this back and forth a little bit. I'm just going to close that down. Just like nothing. Okay, so I've got my length of pipe that I want. Closed off the smart lock. Again, I'm going to push it on, roughly about an inch. Just a little twist as you do that. And then I'm going to twist this back on itself again, just like the last one. Okay, there we are. So we're locked in. The end's closed. And what's interesting about this is this is a cap that comes off. So if you ever wanted to drain your line in the fall, just like that. And you know what's going to happen. My line's going to flip up. So for now, I'm just going to lay that like that. Okay. You were working on a deck and instead of having your line be just higgledy piggledy anywhere, let's say you wanted to make it tight to the corner. What you do is you'd measure out, make sure you've left yourself enough line from your timer. You're going to measure to the corner and take your cutter. Again, remember, super sharp. Let's give it a little bit of side to side motion. Boom, you're through. And included in your kit, you're going to have a couple of elbow fittings. They've got exactly the same smart lock ends. So you're going to start with them closed. Make sure you orient them in the direction that you want to go. So I'm going to, again, I'm going to push that on. Just give it a twist as you do so. And then I'm going to twist that smart lock back on itself. Just like that. Notice how I'm sort of keeping it in the direction I want to go. Then I'm going to take my tubing, connect the other end. Same idea. Give it a twist. Back on itself. clamps, no glue, just like that. So now we're tight to the corner. Now we've got our supply line all set up. Something that's important to do, especially if you're working around dirt when you're assembling all this stuff, take the cap off of your end, your end cap. Make sure that you flush a little water through the line first to make sure that there's no bits in there because if they get caught in the, the drippers, then we're gonna have lots of problems. So again, you're gonna open this end, you're gonna turn your timer on, and flush some water through. Just a few seconds should do the trick. And then we'll put this cap back on. What I say was interesting about this kit when we decided to put it together is everyone's yard's different, everyone's decks are different. We can't possibly accommodate every configuration, but we tried to accommodate a few. One of which would be, um, what if you wanted to continue on and add a few pots? Not a problem. What you would do is you would cut your line and then we have a coupler fitting. 
which again with the smart lock system works exactly the same way as the other fittings. And then you could carry on with a little bit extra line and then put in a stopper at the end to extend the line. Uh, some people's decks, they might have a water supply that's central and what they would do is come into that line and then this is a T fitting. So you can T off to one side, T off to the other side of the deck. And we actually have included two of these stoppers, one for one end and then one that I've used here, which will go on the other end. So it gives you a little bit of flexibility. And if you're on a deck where you've got some tight corners, again, we've got a couple of extra elbows. And don't forget that you're welcome to come down to West Tech. We've got all of these fittings. If you need to reconfigure or change or add on, we're happy to help you with that. All right. Now we're going to get our drippers ready and water plants. So we've got our supply line where we want it. We've got our quarter inch tubing ready. And this is something I recommend when you're cutting this tubing. If you were to use a pocket knife or a hobby knife, you'd get a really rough edge. And what we really want to do is make sure those are nice and square. Keep in mind, this blade is super sharp. I'm going to go in and then just close that just like so. And that's going to give us a nice clean edge like that. All right. So here's our supply lines coming in behind our pots. I'm going to take this same tool and I'm going to punch a hole. So the punch is just right here. Watch out for the blade. I'm going to say that a lot. So I do that on purpose. I think what I'm going to do is turn this over so that my punch is facing down. I'm going to put it over top of the tubing. What's going to happen is I'm going to punch a hole here. I'm going to have a fitting. And then this line is going to come right up into the pot, like so. So I'm going to measure how much I need, probably about that much, to get into the pot right behind the plant. So I'm going to make my mark there. Let's see, what should I do first here? I'm going to actually cut that tube first. So here we go, I've measured my tubing, like so. So there's a little chunk of tubing for this next move. I'm going to put my punch hole right about here. So there's my punch right on top of the pipe, sort of in the direction I want the pipe to come out, which in my case is going to be straight up. I'm just going to carefully push down. Boom. It's a nice hole in the tube. All set to go. So that hole, we're going to take a BB250. That is just basically a quarter inch coupler. And we're going to push that right in. Just like so. Boom, okay. So now I've got a, an attachment to the line. I'm gonna take my quarter inch line. This is great weather for doing that. It's nice to do it in the warm weather. I'm just gonna push that right onto the fitting, just like so. And then I've measured, and this line's gonna come right into the plant. So next step, we flush the line. What I would probably encourage you to do, Make all your punches, measure all your lines, make all of your connections, leave the drippers last. Don't put them on just yet. So you remember we flushed right to the end the first time. We're gonna flush again, just in case we're in a dirty garden bed with lots of, lots of bits that could get in the line. So with the lines open like that, you'll flip your timer on again, flush the lines, give it a good five or 10 seconds. So once that's flushed, you'll take a dripper, which is this contraption right here. You're gonna take the pointy end and you can put that dripper right in like this. That's gonna push right into the line, just like so. All right, now if I do this, what could happen eventually is it would just sort of flip out and do that. So what we've included in the kit is a stake and we're just gonna, a clip stake and we're just gonna clip that in like that, maybe to the second notch there. That's gonna hold it in place. So now I'm gonna place it right next to my plant close by, maybe tuck it in behind. There it is. Just like so. Oh, there's my clip stake right in. When the water goes right to the roots, it doesn't fly up into the air or anything like that. I'm gonna punch another hole. Wait a second. That's not exactly where I wanted it. I wanted to have my line in behind, tucked in behind so you can't really see the lines, but I've pun punched it in the wrong place. So, don't despair. In your kit, you'll find 10 goof plugs for people like me. So now what we can do is take this goof plug and plug the hole. So if the, the hole went into the wrong spot, no problem. 
there you go, you've just plugged the line, just like that. So now I can regroup my thoughts, plan things out, and go to my next stripper. There's a little spot in your tool for pushing the fittings into the line. I didn't notice that before, so you're learning this along with me. Okay, so when I punch my hole, now you'll remember this mistake I made. Now I'm going to measure where I want my hole. I want it right in behind my pot, where it's hard to see from that direction. So I'm going to watch my fingers. I'm going to punch my hole, make sure it lines up. Boom, holes in. Now, this is something I missed before. This little BB250 coupler, you can stick in there and use the tool to help you push it in. I was trying to do it with my thumbnails. So this will help you just kind of guide it in. Boom, just like that. Much easier. All right. I'm gonna measure my last piece. Might as well just put that on there. Handy weight, there we go. Let's put that dripper right dead center there. Fingers out. Dripper goes on. There's a stake. Let me bring that stake back a little bit. There you go. I'll tuck that dripper right in there, just like so. Boom. Just like that. We're ready.